Ladies and gentlemen, have we seen the end of Trey Lance? What stupid thing did Colin Cowherd say now? What is going on in the NFL and why are young players retiring all of a sudden? Find out all that plus much more on today's video of why it talks about the sports news. However, as many of you know, we cannot start without my plug. So don't forget to use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks. G Fuel, you'll save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products, and Prize Picks, you'll match up to $100 of your first deposit. Also, don't forget to use code Wyatt10 to save yourself a discount on any Waggle merch. Link is in the description. All right, enough plugging now. Let's get into the news. All right, so starting off this video right away, what is going on with the San Francisco golden boy we know as Trey Lance? For those who have not been made aware of the situation, uh, Trey Lance is technically the third string quarterback for the 49ers at this point in time. This is on CBS, but it's been reported by, you know, many sources that the 49ers seem to have reached a breaking point with Trey Lance. On Wednesday, the NFL media reported that Sam Darnold will be the team's primary backup to Brock Purdy heading into 2023, sending the former first round pick down the depth chart to third string reserve. Yikes. Now, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't really shock me for two reasons. I, for one, let's get this off my chest. I love Trey. But it doesn't shock me because I said way back when they signed Sam Darnold that he was gonna start a game for them at one point or another. Kyle Shanahan likes Sam Darnold. He picked him. But for two, Trey Lance looked really just not great in his preseason game. Really? Nobody runs free ads on my channel. Anyway, Trey Lance did not look good in his preseason game versus the Raiders, though. Like, not at all. Especially for a guy who they drafted so high, you know, three years ago, and he was supposed to really be him by now. Like, it, it just doesn't look like he is progressing. So here's the question. Do I actually believe it's going to be the end of Trey Lance? Not necessarily. Now, I don't think he has stock to start a game day one anymore. Like, I, I think Trey Lance is a starter. Those days currently are kind of behind us. However, there are a number of teams that could trade for him and he could compete, maybe eventually earning himself a starting role and then getting a starting job. But in order for that to happen, we've got to figure out what they want and who's willing to give it up for Trey. Sad situation. Best of luck to you, man. All right, moving on, I just want to talk very quickly about the Ezekiel Elliott hype of uh, rookie Zeke returning. <laughs> so this is what Zeke looks like right now. And if you're like, hey, that kind of looks familiar, it's because he looks like this guy again. But the reason I bring it up is because this is actually comical. There are actually Patriot fans out there and some Dallas fans even that think he is back to his old ways because he looks like rookie Zeke again. I hate to break it to you guys, but no matter what you do, this man still has 1,881 carries on his 28-year-old body. He is fried. Derrick Henry doesn't even have that many career carries. Next up, very, very briefly, it's kind of old news, but I just want to talk about it. Jonathan Taylor is now able to seek a trade from the Colts. So it says on Tuesday that Jonathan Taylor could be a step closer to getting his wish, but time is of the essence. The Colts have given Taylor until Tuesday to find a suitable trade after authorizing the star running back earlier this week to engage with other teams in search of a trade partner. Six teams have inquired about Taylor's availability, and two of them have engaged in the Colts with offers, including the Miami Dolphins, a source told ESPN on Wednesday. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. I've heard the other team is actually the Bears. So there's the news. JT could be on the move, and I think he will be, but where is he going to go? I really hope it's not one of the two I just named. Actually, he could low-key go to Miami because that would just mean they're going to throw less to Tyreek and Jalen Waddle. So that could be a plus, but I do not want him in Chicago because the Bears would be elite. Honestly, another team I've heard is Dallas, and that would piss me off too because then Tony P wouldn't be getting a shot. Sounds like wherever JT goes, I'm going to hate it. All right, moving on, we will be taking a peek at what comment Colin Cowherd's dumbass said now. So for those who were with me two weeks ago, this guy made a list of quarterbacks who can't win a Super Bowl and proceeded to say the name Dwayne Haskins on live television. He still hasn't apologized for it as far as I'm concerned. Fast forward two weeks, it looks like he is still slipping up because now this isn't as bad. However, it is just as embarrassing because he was talking about the Seattle Seahawks and Geno Smith and went on to say that there is no way they are going to be able to win the AFC Championship. The Seahawks don't play in the AFC, so yeah, they can't win it because they're not in it. This guy can have a job, man, anybody can. 
All right, now we'll be talking about yet another young NFL player who has called it a career and entered retirement, and that is none other than wide receiver Corey Davis. Now, I'm, I'm not going to go off and, and act like I have some huge connection with Corey Davis, or I'm super upset that specifically he's retiring. No, that's not the case. I'm just curious, because Corey Davis is now the third guy who is under 30 years old to retire this offseason. We've had Sony Michelle, Miles Jack, and now Corey. Honestly, I think a rookie even retired already too, but why? A lot of people are obviously going right to the negative and just assuming that none of these guys are gonna make the team so they're retiring to avoid embarrassment because <laughs> it's the internet. But you gotta think, part of this has to be the fact that they're, they're just setting themselves up for a good life and saving their body. I mean, look at guys like Megatron, man. He didn't even play a long career and he's still paying the price for it. The guy's fingers are all crooked. He limps around like he was a legend of the game, but he took a beating. And now, yeah, again, I can agree that none of these guys are exactly, you know, faces of their franchise star players. But every single one of the three that I just named are capable players who could still have a role in the league and they're choosing not to. I just think it is gonna become more of a norm that players as they go are gonna decide that it's probably wiser to walk away when you can rather to limp or crawl away. Next up, I want to dive into baseball just for one quick second because I want to give my sincerest condolences to the Angel fans out there. Johei Otani tore his UCL last night. He won't pitch again this season and Mike Trout's back on the IL. For those who are not baseball fans and you want me to put that into an NFL reference for you, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey both just got hurt in the same night. Now, the Angels are nowhere near the Chiefs caliber of a team, but I'm saying as far as what those two mean to that team, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey just got hit by a bus. Hang in there, LA. Well, to be honest, I'd, I'd, maybe you just want to go to bed. And now ending today's video, I do have a top five list for you, but it does have to do with football. And it is my top five teams that I do not think are going to win the Super Bowl. But if they somehow did, I really probably wouldn't be that shocked. And yes, I'm making a TikTok about this too, so if you think you've seen it twice, you probably have. Anyway, team number one, we got Seattle. Dude, looking at the team that they were last year, looking at the offseason they had and the team they are now, if they went on to hoist the Lombardi at the end of the year, I could not say I predicted it, but I would not say that I'd be like, what? I'd probably just go, okay, yeah, and Gino's actually really good. They have the coach to do it, they have the roster to do it, I just think there's a number of teams better than them. Moving on to the next team, we got the 49ers, the team I love so much. Look, you guys know you have the team to win the Super Bowl. You do every year, but here's the problem. You never do it. Well, not in recent history, at least. So, therefore, I don't think you're going to win the Super Bowl. I think you guys are going to go to the playoffs and you're going to get your ass kicked by someone. <laughs> Sorry, but that's as honest as I can be. Next team we got is the Jets. I mean, it's there. The roster's there. I feel like it's going to be really sink or swim, but their defense is elite. Aaron Rodgers has got the support he's always wanted. Might not have as good of an offense as he's ever had, but he's got the support. Therefore, I, I probably wouldn't be too shocked at the end of the year if I saw Aaron Rodgers holding the trophy up in a Jets uniform. I'd be furious. I'm obviously biased and don't think it's going to happen, but logic would tell me, yeah, that was possible. Moving on to team number four, we've got the Denver Broncos. I will never give up on this team, especially now that they have Sean Payton. And really ask yourself this, if the Broncos are all of a sudden elite with Sean Payton, are you gonna be shocked in the slightest way? Because probably not. Sean Payton is the coach that made a washed up Drew Brees, Jameis Winston, and Teddy Bridgewater all three elite quarterbacks. Hell, he made Taysom Hill a decent quarterback. You know he's gonna do the same thing with Russ. The Broncos are probably gonna be really good. And if they went on to win the ring, I'm gonna be apparently one of few who aren't going to be too shocked and the fifth and final team for me is the jacksonville jaguars now again let me reiterate i don't think any of these teams are going to win the super bowl but if you fast forwarded nine months from now and i saw trevor lawrence holding that trophy up i think there's about 20 other teams you could say that would be more ridiculous than the jacksonville jaguars they are a young and upcoming team with a coach who cares about them and i believe a multi-time mvp at quarterback do i think it'll happen no but it could Okay, everybody, and that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do to show support. With everything I just said, I'm going to hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. And as always, I will see you in the next upload.